All right, the War Within Season 1 tier set bonuses for all 13 classes. I'm going to go down and I'm going to check out the mage ones really quick. I just want to see what the mage ones are looking like. So Arcane Blast and Arcane Explosion damage increased by 6%. Kind of boring. Casting Arcane Blast or Arcane Explosion has a 10% chance to make your next barrage deal 10% increased damage and generate 4 Arcane Charges. That's pretty sick. Your next Arcane Barrage deals 10% increased damage and generates charges. <coughs> That's actually kind of cool. I like that one. This is what the set looks like. Um, let's see what it is for fire. Phoenix Flames damage increased by 10%. The amount is increased by 25% on the primary target. After dealing damage, Phoenix Flames has a 10% chance to return to you, refunding 1% of the cooldown of Phoenix Flames and granting you 6% increased spell damage. Okay. Iceland's damage increased by 5%, and Fingers of Frost increases the damage of your next Frozen Orb by 10%, stacking 10 times. That's really cool. Iceland's damage increased, Fingers of Frost increases the damage of your next Frozen Orb by basically 100%. That is cool. Big orbs. I like that. Frozen Orb increases Iceland's damage by 15%. That, that is a cool... I like this set bonus. This is one of the better set bonuses that I've seen so far. I, I really like that one. That's a, re that's a really, really cool one. So the mage ones, I think, are all very nice. Very, very nice. DK. Um, all right, Frosty Gay. Your runic power spending abilities deal 8% increased damage. Consuming runic power has a chance to increase your strength. So keep in mind, guys, I think kind of the theme of set bonuses is normally pretty moderate, and then as the expansion goes on, they get crazier and crazier. Uh, your minions deal 8% increased damage. Okay. When you summon a minion, your haste is increased by 2% up to 8%. Cool. This one looks like... I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Cool. All right, let's go. Oh, this is what it looks like. I think that I think that th this has a really nice... I don't know. What do you guys... What would you guys... Uh, what would you guys rate this one? I feel like this is a very nice set. I like it. it looks cool. All right, uh, Havoc Demon Hunter. Blade Dance deals 20% increased damage. Chaos Strike deals 20% increased damage and has a 25% chance to reset the cooldown. <coughs> Demon Hunters always have <coughs> such like kind of simplistic but wild set bonus. 20% damage increase on Blade Dance and your Chaos Strike does 20% more damage and has a chance to reset the cooldown on Blade Dance. Cool. Let's see what their set looks like. I like this one. This one is sick. That's a really cool set. <coughs> Pardon me. Druid main. All right, let's look at balance. Star Surge damage increased by 8%. Starfall damage increased by 10%. Lunar Eclipse and Solar Eclipse each increase the astral power. Wrath generates by 1. and Starfire generates by 2. Okay. For Feral, Tiger's Fear increases your chance to critically strike for 10 seconds. Starting at 6% and increases by 1% every 2 seconds. Very, very nice. <clears throat> Feral Druid 4 set. Critical strikes with your combo point generating increases the direct damage of your Ferocious Bite and Rampant Ferocious or Primal Wrath by 15% stacking. That's kind of cool. You have big Ferocious Bites. That's nice. Resto, Regrowth, Wild Growth, and Swiftman Healing increased by 10%. Your healing is increased by 8% when consuming Soul of the Forest. Okay, so after you use Soul of the Forest, you get bonus healing. That's cool. I like that. Let's see what their set looks like. I, I actually like this a lot. I feel like this the set so far to me have been awesome. I love them. All right, let's see. Evoker. Upheaval deals 30% increased damage and increases the damage of your next two eruptions. That is insanely good. Simple, but very strong. Ebon Might increases primary stat by an additional 0.4% of your own of your own every two seconds as it remains active. Okay. Ebon Might, what is this? What's the difference? This is written twice. Okay, it's the same thing. <coughs> Pardon me. A devastation evoker disintegrate damage increased by 10%, and pyre damage increased by 10%. Eternity Surge's cooldown is decreased by 5 seconds and is now Grant's Essence Burst. That is really, really strong. 
That is super good. Another simple one, but very strong. And their tier looks like this. Kind of neat. All right, let's look at uh, Hunters. Uh, we got Hunter Beast Mastery. Barb Shot further increases your pet's attack speed by 5%. Your pet's attacks have a 10% chance to increase all pet damage you deal by 10%. That seems good. Arcane shot and multi-shot damage increase by 20%. That's nice. Consuming precise shots increases the damage of your next aim shot by 10, stacking up to two times. Wildfire bomb damage increased by 5% for survival, and their four set is deals 10% increased damage to targets affected by wildfire bomb. This is what they look like. A nice set. I like it. I like it a lot. We already saw the mage ones. We can take a look at what their set looks like. Mages have the best set. So you guys better be making your mages because, uh, yeah, this set looks awesome. I look like a Dalaran Cyclops wizard. You know? Look at me. I'm a freaking Cyclops. You guys may notice that I skip over tanks a lot. I kind of disregard tanks in PvP. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe it's a bad habit, but I do it. Anyways, uh, so we're going to go straight to Mistweaver Monk. Enveloping Mist and Renewing Mist healing is increased by 10%. Okay. That's nice. Um, Vivify extends the duration of Renewing Mist and Enveloping Mist on the primary target. That's really good. So your Vivifies extend your Enveloping Mist. That's, that's strong. That's really, really strong. So you can get an Envelop up and then, yeah, you're going to keep it up for a while. That's really good. Tiger Palm increases the damage of your next melee ability by 5%. Uh, and the four pieces, your other melee abilities increase the damage of your next Tiger Palm, stacking six times. 15% of Tiger Palm's damage is dealt onto nearby enemies. Reduces... That's interesting. You're going to have cleavy Tiger Palms. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's see the Monk set. Monk set is kind of weird, but I'm down for it. The Oxen. Look at the oxen on the shoulders. This is the brewmaster set. Sweet. Um, okay, let's look at Paladin, my, my favorite class. Uh, Holy Paladin. Holy Shock's healing is increased by 10% and its cooldown is reduced by 10%. Very strong. <coughs> Holy Shock increases the initial healing of your next Word of Glory or Light of Dawn by 8%, stacking four times. That's really strong too. Uh, Blade of Justice damage increased by 15%, and Wake of Ashes damage increased by 10%. Very nice. Wake of Ashes increases your damage done by 10% for 8 seconds. Love that. And the set is also beautiful. The Holy Paladin set looks good. Sheesh. I like the sets. I, some people were talking shit on the sets. I, I feel like they all look really... The Priest one is insane. Okay, we'll... Okay. Hold up. Atonement healing increased by 5%. Love it. Smite and Penance increases the damage of your next Mind Blast by 25%. Smite and Penance increase the damage of your next Mind Blast by 25% or absorb amount of your next Powered Shield by 15% up to three times. That's really good. What the heck? That's super strong. Serendipity is 10% more effective. Heal, Flash Heal, Prayer of Healing have a 50% chance to cast against, again, at 35% effectiveness. Yeah. The duration of Devouring Plagues increased by one second. Devouring Plague increases your damage done by 2% for 10 seconds. Multiple applications may overlap. That seems kind of cool. I mean, that one's like very... I don't know how good this is. It seems like it might be good, but... The duration of Devouring Plague is increased by one second. So if those are like automatically PvP nerf, what is that going to be? Like a 0.5 second increase on your Devouring Plague? That seems kind of monk s Maybe not so good, but who knows what they'll do. Dude, this is... This may be one of the coolest sets to ever exist in WoW. You, like, honest. Well, like, what do you guys think about it? This is insanely cool. You look so good. You look like a ring wraith. Exactly. You actually look like a ring wraith. That's crazy. All right, let's look at rogues. Oh my god, rogues. Rogues look cool. I like this set for rogues. It looks badass. 
All right, assassination. When you when you your bleeds deal damage, you have a chance to grant you vile tincture for eight seconds. Increase your poison damage by one percent per stack. Okay. Four set. Well, you have five or more stacks of vile tincture. Garot, rupture, and crimson tempest deal more damage. Okay. So bleeds and poisons more damage. Uh, outlaw your sinister strike, pistol shot, and ambush have a twenty percent chance to ethereal rampage, dealing fifteen percent increased shadow. Oh, damage is shadow. That's kind of cool. <coughs> Ethereal Rampage additionally increases the damage of your next between the eyes by 6%, stacking three times. Okay. All right, now that I'm a sub-rogue main, um, let's see what we got. Symbols of Death increases the damage of your next secret technique by 20%. Perfect. Secret technique increases the damage of your other finishing moves by 16%. Perfect, guys. Symbols of Death helps us one shot harder. And after we secret technique, this is beautiful, man. This is exactly what sub-rogues need. Let's go, baby. All right, Shaman time. Uh, elemental Blast, Earthshock, damage increased by 25%, and Earthshock, or Earthquake damage increased by 25%. Uh, spending Maelstrom grants you 5% increased critical strike chance and 10% increased critical strike damage. That's good. That's really good. Um, okay, Enhancement, Storm Strike, Lava Lash, Ice Strike, and Crash Lightning deal 15% more damage. Oh my god! Feral Spirits last 100% longer? That's really strong too. Holy crap. Tidal Waves increases the healing of uh, affected spells by 10%. Tidal Waves is 80% more effective and reduces the mana cost of spells by 8%. That seems pretty good. I got like a little water ponytail. <laughs> <coughs> Holy crap. Okay. That one might be my least favorite. I'm going to be keep it real, guys. I've been very positive about them so far. This might be my least favorite. I don't know if I'm digging the water ponytail. Warlock. Malefic Rapture damage increased by 5% and Critical Strike chance increased by 10%. Jeez. Malefic Rapture has a chance to increase uh, damage dealt by your Agony, Corruption, Unstable Affliction by 15%. That's really good. Your primary demon deals 5% increased damage and your Shadow Bolt damage is increased by 50%. Shadow Bolt has a chance to enrage your primary Felguard, increasing the damage of their next Legion Strike by 300%. Holy shit, that seems good too. Uh, incinerate Critical Strike Chance increased by 20%. Conflag Critical Strike Chance increased by 25%. When conflagrate uh, critical strikes, your damage is increased by 5% for 6 seconds. And then Warlocks have a really interesting set. Look at them. They have like... They look like, uh, like a... I don't even know. I don't know what this is. They got some arms coming out of them. Shiva. Okay. Shivara. They look like Shivara, I guess. That's cool. <coughs> All right, here we go. Warriors. Let's see what we got for Warriors. Mortal Strike and Cleave increase the damage of your next Overpower. When Overpower has its cooldown reset by Tactician, your next Mortal Strike and Cleave has its damage increased by 10%. Critical Strike Chance increased by 10%, stacking two times. That's really good. A lot of extra crit on your Mortal Strikes and stuff. Yo, Stricken, thank you for the prom. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bloodthirst increases the damage of your next Rampage by 10%. When raging blow, uh, when raging blow resets its cooldown, the damage of your next bloodthirst is increased by ten percent, stacking two times. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Pretty cool. I like it. I like the lightning eyes. I like the lightning eyes. I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool. Um. Anyways, yeah. I think the biggest winner when it comes to I don't know who the biggest winner for set bonuses is. Um, I think the Subtlety Rogue one sounds really good. Some of the Mage ones sound really good. Some of the Lock ones sound really good. The Devastation one sounds really good. Like Overall, they're like pretty simple but effective. Um, in terms of looks, I think the best looking set, in my opinion, is the Priest. I think Priest won. Priest got the coolest set. This is the coolest set I've seen, in my opinion. What do you, what do you guys think?
Not bad though. Honestly, this is a, this is a, a great first look at uh, some of the new set bonuses that are coming um, with the new expansion. Who do you guys think uh, is the biggest winner?